Uh, here we have the Born to be the Best uh, 3BR1606 3500kV motor. This was sent in by Edward Lee from China. He kindly donated it uh, so I can test it and see where the, mo the motor uh, falls in the uh, in performance uh, compared to the uh, 1407 and 1806 motors. Uh, so this one is uh, not that well known so it's good that uh, I got it in for testing. Uh, pretty interesting size being 1606 so it's a little bit larger than the 1407 as, as far as diameter of the stator is. So it's kind of interesting to see how it performs especially because of the odd size. Uh, this size is uh, pretty much unique to this motor I don't think there's any other brand that uh, that uses this size, so so it's pretty good. A little bit larger than 1407, so I actually I actually had had a uh, good expe expectations for for this motor, but uh, it was a little bit disappointing because uh, it runs hot. It's been confirmed by a couple, about three people that are that have used it uh, with four-inch props. It just runs very hot. Uh, they're, they they're telling me that uh, it pretty much almost burns their hands when they grab it after after uh, flying for a short while uh, so even even on three inch props uh, they told me that it was still it was still running hot so uh, still you know they I thought I tested on the thrust stand uh, just to see what kind of performance to expect from this uh, size motor and it actually did uh, it actually did pretty well uh, as far as numbers on the thrust stand but it, but yes i also noticed that it was running very hot on the thrust stand way hotter than 1407 even using the same props and the same voltage uh, this motor was just running very hot uh, which is quite unfortunate because uh, it's the only motor in this size I think uh, and and I think this this should be explored more and I really hope that uh, uh, BBB uh, revises the motor and takes a look at it and finds finds out what's what's uh, wrong with it um, I kind of looked at it and I can't really tell why why it runs so hot the only the only thing that I do notice is that uh, the stator teeth are pretty pretty small I mean they're pretty short as you can see the the coil uh, the coils are are short so the copper is only concentrated in this, in this very small portion here uh, that's the only thing I can see uh, other than the I'm not sure what kind of winding pattern they're using if they're using delta or y termination so I'm not sure uh, uh, what they're using. I would have to uh, take it apart and disassemble it uh, just just to see how the termination is. I can't really tell from here. You'd have to see how the uh, how the pattern, the winding pattern, is for that. Uh, so the yeah, the only thing I can see here is the the stator. As you can see, it's a uh, it's kind of on the small size uh, the coils are there they're narrow most other motors are a little bit wider just a little bit wider so I don't know if that has to do with the motor running uh, running too hot uh, the laminations uh, they seem to be 0.2 millimeters and I mean everything else on the motor looks looks fine uh, I'm not sure what the what magnets are using but uh, I mean the construction on the motor looks looks pretty good. Uh, they even did uh, some kind of odd thing here where they they've uh, hollowed the shaft, uh, the aluminum portion, and they and the uh, uh, the motor shaft, the steel part, sh the steel shaft uh, goes through there, as you can see, it goes all the way through right there. So. Uh, that of course will strengthen the aluminum shaft right here so so pretty pretty interesting thing 
and uh, they also have these uh, serrated uh, base where the prop rests so that's pretty good uh, keeps the prop from uh, uh, moving uh, so uh, it's good to have it there on the on the bell and then you could just use a regular nylock uh, uh, so so it'll just clamp it you know so quite a shame that the motor runs way too hot as uh, a lot of people are telling me I haven't used this one in the air only on the trust stand and and yes it's uh, it, it's just too hot and uh, uh, so there you go uh, let's uh, still I ran it uh, so I'll just uh, show you guys what the results were um, uh, hopefully the they revise the motor and they you know they do a version 2 that runs uh, at normal temps Alright, so let's look at the results for the thrust test on this motor, 1606-3500kV. The motor measure uh, quite higher at 3770kV. Uh, so this one's kind of uh, unexpected uh, to be 270kV higher. So anyway, uh, let's look at the thrust uh, results. Actually, I, I had a good, pretty good expect expectations for this motor and uh, actually the, the motor performed quite well as far as thrust is concerned. As you can see, a uh, pretty pretty high thrust uh, on on these props. I only tested a few props because I kind of knew the issues uh, that this motor has with uh, overheating. So I just wanted to do a couple of props and see how hot it would get. And yes, it de it definitely got hot as you saw in the video. But uh, the thrust is actually pretty good, and the amps don't seem to be alarmingly high, which is kind of a uh, kind of weird. So there's gotta be something wrong either the wa the type of wire they use or the winding pattern something with the stator that's where the problem has to be because from uh, looking at the motor I just couldn't tell there's nothing that seems to be wrong with it uh, as far as magnets and the way they've done the bell or any of those other parts so it's gotta be in the stator pretty good thrust as you can see on the Lumineer 3040 by 3 uh, 651 so that's roughly about 50 grams more than the usual 1407 motors and on the 4045 by 2 uh, also pretty pretty good thrust and as we move on to the more aggressive props the 4045 by 3 almost one kilogram and the 5030 also the motor just keeps performing pretty well 1140 so let's uh, do a quick comparison uh, against the 1407 so we can see what the differences are for this two millimeter wider stator so just pick this motor the rotor geeks uh, 1407 3600 because this one's pretty good performing motor so just let's look at the couple of props on the the lumineer 340 by 3 so we're getting 569 uh, other models are somewhere on there uh, five 
90, 600. So roughly about 50, 50 grams difference. And then on the 40, 45 by two, we're seeing about 120 or so difference. So pretty good. And on the heavier props, as you can see, the motor is definitely has an advantage over the 1407s. So these uh, size motors actually would be a very good option for micro quads. Uh, so hopefully BBB revises the motor so that they solve the issue with overheating because uh, it, it would be a shame not to not to have this this motor. You know, it uh, seems like it's pretty capable. It's got a lot of uh, possibilities. So hopefully they'll do a revision too and. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna do with all the motors that they sold already. So, uh, are, you know, if the customers are gonna be stuck with uh, hot motors that are gonna have a early death, I've seen a lot of reports. People are just complaining they're they're running like ex extremely hot to the point that you can't really hold them on your hand. They could burn your finger. So it's too bad. Had uh, pretty good expectations for this motor, but uh, as you can see, it's one of the probably the only motor that I tested that. Uh, that runs this hot. Okay, so hope uh, you guys find this uh, useful. Uh, keep an eye on this motor. If you're thinking of buying it, uh, make sure it's not the earlier versions. Uh, the company hasn't re been really that good about commenting on the motor or addressing the issues publicly. So hopefully they'll make good and uh, take care of customers. All right, uh, until the next video and thanks for watching.